OCO is pretty connected here. I think we found a really great person to explore this country with. Because of that, we're going to see a lot of really unique things. I think Oka is really looking forward to his home, and we're definitely looking forward to it too. Every step of this world trip has taken us further away from home, to places we never expected to see. Two years ago, I would never have understood how much this journey would change me. This is why we travel. This is the reason that we're out here. We've been so lucky to have Oka take us around his country and now take us deeper inside his own home island of Bali. It's important for Oka, now that he's back on Balinese soil, to come to temple and say a prayer and just for us to have a safe journey, kind of just a blessing, a cleansing, and obviously see a big part of Balinese culture, which is visiting Hindu temple. This is really beautiful. Thank you. I'm very glad, you know that you guys here and can see you know, part of you know what, what my life here in Bali, in Bali. Some of these people here from your village? Yeah, this is uh, my sister and this is my sister. <laughs> All these people that come from my village, they bring us offering uh, you know, for us to have a safe journey. <laughs> you brought half your village to us. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. realize just how important home is to Oka. He's been gone for a few days to see us in Java, and the second he comes home, they welcomed him in. It felt like he had been gone for a year. They welcomed us just as warmly, with a blessing and with a sense of spirituality. Everywhere we go in the world, family seems to be so close and so tight, and they have such a better relationship because of it. And here, obviously, it's no different. We were praying and just being there with him and his family and taking it easy. And it was the first time that we actually slowed down a little bit and caught our breath and just kind of appreciate where we were and what we were doing and who we were with. My, my mom and uh, my people from my village bring us this fruit and food offer to the temple. All right. Yeah. Home cooking. Home yeah. cooking. <laughs> Good to be home, no? Good to be home. Home sweet home. is a pretty deep guy. He's got such a great heart. Finding a guy like that to show you around is one in a million. We're just gonna go inland, you know. We we got the island life, very laid back, take it easy. Just right to the center of Bali. Center of paradise. Center of paradise. It was really nice to have that temple experience with him and his family and those sort of surroundings and just have a moment to breathe with the kind of attention to life and love and spirituality that's here. I think that's why a lot of people end up coming to Bali. It's a very peaceful place and a place that you don't want to leave. These things woke me up this morning. <laughs> They would have been waking us up for three years. Got the worst in the morning, been waking up with that. We're at the Brinket Market, and this is one of the biggest markets in the area. It only happens twice a week. There's all kinds of animals all over this area. It's filling up really quick. Look at you. You are the cutest thing in the world. I'm gonna call him Billy Idol. You see 
all these guys here and they bring all the roosters here for cockfighting. Not of the fighting is done here, but this is where people come and train and buy, you know, these roosters. Can you pick out a good fighter, like a winner? Yeah, you gotta look at the lag and uh, you know the, when the chest when they they oh, 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 like that and they, you can tell. But and then when you touch, you can tell how 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 tight their muscle inside. I noticed that there's a, a couple of them that they're opening up the cages and they're kind of provoking them a little bit. They can check from you know the way they behave and then how 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 mad they can get. That's what they look for. It's legal here. Yeah. Oh uh, no. But, <laughs> And it's very popular here, you say it's Oh, very popular. Very, very popular. For betting? Yeah, men with their cock, you know, you know. You know. <laughs> yeah. Is there any other type of fighting they do, like? Oh, uh, yeah, there is one, actually, you know. We can go to that, you know, a cricket fight. A cricket fight? Yeah. Cricket? Cricket, like, you know. Like grasshopper. The, like. Grasshopper, you know, the, the small one. <laughs> they fight? Yeah. They fight and they, they fast they like Speedy Gonzalez. I don't know how keen I'd be to just go to a cock fight. From what I've heard, it's a bit bloody, but cricket fight? I'd be willing to see that. Did the crickets get hurt? Uh, no, not really. As soon as they get hurt, they run away. So in the end, no one died. Cricket, is that legal? Gray area. <laughs> this I've got to see. Cricket fighting. Can, can we see it today? Yeah, we can see it today. All we can think about now is this cricket fighting. At least that's all I can think about. Right? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. You, you guys sit down and make the cricket get angry and then they just pull the glass yeah. and then they fight. Pop, 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 pop. So you're going to show us how it's done first? Yeah. We show you how to, to, to do the cricket fight in my house. Yeah. And then we go to the arena. We're at Oka's house here and as soon as you walk in, you have all these different uh, buildings, you know, a place for your mother to stay you take care of her, you have your own place, you have a guest bedroom, you have a natural spring, yeah. a workshop, a place for your kids to stay, you know what I mean? It just keeps going on and on and on. This is my temple. We do the blessing for the village. The village come here to, to get holy water and blessing from, from my family. This is not fully done yet. This is all my design. I'm a wood cover originally. We got a first look at how much of a born artist Oak really is. His sense of design and his abilities to carve and to do pottery are unbelievable. That passion for art and his family and the passion for spirituality really goes into the home that he's made. Malini's house is a family house. We have a yard in the middle where the kids play, everybody can watch. So every house can watch each other. So, but we also have their privacy. It's kind of like you have your own village within the village. Yeah. I guess this is very typically Balinese. It's very open, but with wall around it. Not so many people have their own temple though. They have one. Really? Every house in Bali have their own temple. We believe when we are in the world, heaven and hell are here. So we have to create our own heaven. It's not just up there, here as well. So we have a like, spiritual sanctuary. All these elements that go into your home are just, it, it, it ties the family to this property. We all need a home. And in the end, we all go home. This is your team. <laughs> so we have the fighting crickets here. So they're getting all excited now. I think it was go time. <laughs> I can't believe what I'm seeing. These little pens. It's like a miniaturized version of like gladiator fighting. This is my neighbor. He's a master on the cricket. Cricket? Cricket master. Yeah, cricket master. What does he look for in a cricket? They look on the, their, their movement, a bit of sound and, and aggressiveness. And then you, you can tell how they just jump, jump, jump like that. This was only by invitation, otherwise you wouldn't be allowed to be in. So my, my neighbor will invite you to come to this fight, and then we have to go in a hurry. We'll just pick a cricket, I guess, yeah. and, and get going then. Yeah, but this is betting. This is not just game, it's betting as well. Okay, so this way, serious business. Yeah, serious business. <laughs> you have to just, you know, sh you know put in front of them out, but then they get there. Whoa. Yeah. This guy here, he, just the way he's behaving, I don't know, I like his odds. Everybody's saying he's a little crazy. He's not making any noise, he's not chirping, he just keeps 
flicking around and you know maybe that quickness and a little bit of crazy is gonna make him a winner. Well, what I'm gonna go for yep. is the cricket with the loudest the loudest one. Loudest noise. Choice. The biggest one and make a lot Yeah. Got that. Got that. Okay. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. actually on our way to the cricket fighting. It's kind of an underground thing and where we are right now is like kind of outside of town and they've been waiting for us to come and do this. So we got some money that we're gonna do some gambling with and we're actually gonna see some of this cricket fighting happen. You got your money? I got some some betting money. We better win otherwise we're not eating tonight. It's weird, it feels like I'm trying to track down a rave or something, you know? We're just kind of waiting. We were told to go to one spot, and now we're waiting in another spot in the shade, and probably gonna get a phone call in the next like five, 10 minutes, and probably go to the next spot. <laughs> Does it seem ridiculous though? Because it's not like all these cops are gonna bust out of like, you know, the bushes in the jungle and be like, this is a bus, this is a bus, give us all your crickets. You got another girl. Here comes the posse. <laughs> These guys are badass. They're all so shifty, yet they're all so friendly. They're all like, hello, hello. This is way more remote than I would have thought. We've brought them back to their natural habitat to try to evoke that wild sense from the cricket to really draw the primitive nature, this primeval need to, to kill another cricket, or at least send him packing in the other direction. We've actually been warned, if the cops come, this is not, I'm not even joking, if the cops come, we all have to split up and run away. They have, they have actually have people on cell phones on lookout, you know, scanning this area to make sure no police are gonna come. So the police do come, we have to run. There is a lot of tension in the air right now. I'm nervous for my cricket. Hope he's gonna hang in there. My cricket, uh, little Fedor, he's uh, undefeated in you know in his whole lifetime. My cricket is the Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh... Okay. Well, I'll call mine Tyson. Because mine's a little, uh, a little, little bit misunderstood. misunderstood. Yeah, I'm just yeah. Said that. Misunderstood. Okay, what are they all up to here? They, they, they have to compare the teeth and the size and everything <laughs> to be able to have an equal size. Junior Tyson's up. I know, Tyson Jr. I hope he doesn't bite the other guy's antenna clean off, you know, if he gets a little crazy. Okay. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, crazy. Let's go. It's black. Oh, he lost. Oh, that was a good fight by Tyson. Tyson lost. Tyson didn't do too good. Tyson might be a washed up fighter. Let's see how fair is going to do. I lie, you will be here we go. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh no, the oh. ultimate disgrace. He left the ring. He ran from the ring. Fedor! Oh. Well, Justin and I are uh, out of pocket, uh, about 100,000 now. He ran out the ring. He ran out completely. Unbelievable. I've never seen that before. In all my years of cricket fights, I've never seen wow. someone leave the ring. That's my turn now. For my rookie. Big money now. Okay. Yeah. Can we bet? Yeah, we can bet. Yeah. All right, Oka. Yeah. Let's do it. You're our last hope. Let's go. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 Balboa. Rocky Bal Bowie. <laughs> Rocky Bally Boa. <laughs>picking up Oka's best friend Sebastian we kind of got off of the main road a little bit and now we're just kind of taking this dirt road he's built this place which is in probably one of the most beautiful spots of the country we've seen so far and he's just had to live off the grid so we're gonna pick him up because he's one of your best friends best friend. we both love art very much and we love to travel it's a very laid back and then that's why I would like to uh, guys to meet him. Is he off the grid completely? Like yeah, no, completely. no power, no nothing. No electric, no nothing. Wow. Just sleep green. If not my best friend, I wouldn't. I wouldn't dare to come. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
so many islands here. There's like well, almost 17,000 islands. So many islands. So many islands. Is there any islands that, you know, maybe three or four that you would suggest, like, oh, definitely check these ones out or... Yeah, something? well, we love Sumba, you know. Sumba, it's, Sumba. Like, yeah. it's an impressive one because you have these tribes there. And it's it's really it's very different from here, and it's it's not it's not built up at all. It's very it's still very very traditional. Oh, wow. and it's really amazing. You've been before then. Yeah, I've been like twice. So how do the people differ from say Bali or, or Java? What we've seen already. Most people get around on horseback. Mm. Yeah. Wow, wow, so it's that pretty primitive. primitive. Yeah, or yeah. walking. Yeah. Huh. So when do we leave? <laughs> it's interesting where life will take you and as long as you have an open mind and you're willing to try new things and not be afraid of taking risks, I think sky's the limit. Sebastian is a pretty interesting person. He has found a piece of paradise for himself. He lives a very simple but amazing life. Having the chance to spend time with him and see what he's accomplished and see his passion, it just stirs up all these ideas, these dreams of paradise and living a very peaceful life. It's taken Sebastian a number of years just to find this place that he wants to make a home. I think this is a real reflection of who he is and what he wants to achieve. We've got over 17,000 islands to choose from, so Simba is an island that is lesser traveled and uh, maybe a little bit more wild, and that's certainly the draw for us. By the sounds of things, since Sebastian is eager to go to Simba anyway, we'll really be in good hands and we'll really get a good experience of a very different portion of Indonesia. Simba feels like a world away from Bali already. Just arriving here and seeing the landscape, the lack of roads and the lack of people. It's nothing like Java, it's nothing like Bali, and that's the beauty about island hopping in a place like Indonesia. It's been a long day just to get to this point. We spent the whole day just flying and driving to get here. Tomorrow, some guys are gonna come pick us up on horseback and take us into this tribe. Samba is one of those islands in Indonesia where you're going to have one of the most true and traditional tribal cultures that's left in all the islands. So we're hoping to get a good view of that tomorrow. I don't know, I'm really looking forward to this uh, next couple of days. This is, you've never been out here before, have you? Yeah. So this is all new to you, right? Yeah, very new for me. And then it's just very exciting for me to be here. When I get here, it's, I feel like you know, this is some part of Bali 20 years ago. Well, you know, when I was a kid, we do the fire, there's no, no, there's no electric. It's in my village, it's only 1972, I saw the first electric. So to be here with you guys, I mean, this is like, uh, I mean, you know, bring back a lot of memories. I'm really looking forward to see this village. So. Sun is up and we're finally getting our look at this this beach and this island and you can see for miles and miles it's just big blue ocean and this nice white sandy beach. We're actually gonna head into the hills and stay with the tribe tonight. Sebastian has uh, arranged to have a, an overnight stay with them and just take part in their daily life. The guys have just showed up with uh, the horses that we're going to be taking into the village we're going to stay at tonight. I've heard that uh, these horses can be a bit finickety. Huh? Well, they're, they're all stallions. Oh, really? Yeah, so you have to keep them a bit far away from each other. Breeze, the, the calmer you are and the more relaxed they are, the more the easier. At the beginning they'll be a bit like this, but then as soon as they feel relaxed, just let them a little bit loose. You can easily get them excited, you know, so try and 
keep them as calm as possible. We should just take it really slow. So I think that would be a good idea. And I think the journey there is going to be just as good as when you get there. So you have got to enjoy the journey getting there, you know, not thinking that you're going to, that's what we're going to see in the village. I think we have to really enjoy every single step of the way. Yeah. Hopefully he stays this calm through the next uh, few hours, otherwise it's going to be a long walk. I'm very lucky I got the most calm horse. It's going to be an exciting day today. Sumba is so incredibly different than the other islands we've seen. It feels like Sumba floated 4,000 miles out into the ocean and was left alone. It just feels forgotten. came up over the ridge. I didn't even know this was here. This is the village. We were just down there before. This is unbelievable how one island developed the way it did and another was seemingly not developed at all. These horses were like a time machine back 500 years. <laughs> Pretty awesome, man. Eh? Awesome. Yeah. Scott. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm Dr. Welcome to Welcome to introduce Just, yeah. Just, yeah. yeah, welcome to Welcome Everyone in the village knows that we were coming today? Uh, no. no? A yeah. surprise? Yeah, surprise. <laughs> they don't know. Do they like visitors? Yeah, they like. They like uh, bule. <laughs> Bule means white people. White people. Yeah. We're more red now from red the and white, right? Yeah. Oh, there's red. There's some red and there's some white. Uh, Dodo, are there any important rules that we should know to show respect or to to not offend anyone? As per the Tana, it came up at Sanat important. As you see, there's a symbol there, stone, stone arcs. Is it a, a burial area? Yeah, it's all burial. All the middle. With that permission, we can come there. But only for the men. Okay. Yeah, no woman not allowed. So no justice. Yeah. yeah. So it's a very sacred spot. Yeah. Yeah. When you come into a village, I remember last time we had to eat like some beetle nut. You can chew the beetle nut because tradition of Sumba. Yeah. <laughs> beetle nut. I know what it tastes like. Oh, it. oh yeah. <laughs> Like Scott got it the last time. In PNG, I, uh, I, I was able to escape this. I was able to avoid it. Um, but as the very first impression that they're getting of me is how I accept their culture, I think it would be pretty rude to not try it. We chew together. When you give lime, not swallow the juice, right? Okay. You can spit out the juice. Okay. It's like Sumba lipstick. Sumba lipstick? Yeah. <laughs> That's Later it's coming red. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we start. Yeah. Mm. Spit it out. Spit it out the lime, right? And the juice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Good, right? Mm. Awesome. Mm. Oh yeah, there's that taste I sadly forgot. Enjoying it? It's red like lipstick, right? 
I swallow some. <laughs> you swallow the juice, right? Yeah. I think it, it also wakes you up a little bit. <laughs> Before I came in, I had a really bad headache. Now I and now know. I don't actually have a headache. I don't know if this has got to do with the lime or anything. We're still going back in time, that's why. <laughs> oh, maybe. We're still going back in time. <laughs> it's my son. Oh, what's his name? Jeffrey. 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 Number six. Six kids. <laughs> six kids. Oh, no. Crazy, yeah? Last one. <laughs> yeah. Last one, right? Yeah, last one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> if no son, he said. <laughs> if no son, you keep trying. Seven, keep eight, trying. nine, ten. Yeah. <laughs> if no son, if the first wife, we find another wife. You know, in uh, Lamboya, we have one bo man have seven wives. Okay. One for every day of the week, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Special place to kill. Oh, water this is a si sacrificial. Yeah, sacrifice some water buffalo here. For what what reason do you sacrifice? When somebody die, or oh. when we build a new house, traditional houses. Yeah. yeah, we make big ceremony. How long does it take to uh, build one of these houses? Two months or three months. I'm dying to ask you, Toto, about the uh, the sword. This. Just for the man. The man must find a, a wood pile for cooking and soccer pass if you have ceremony and then if you build a house we use this to cut something like bamboo or wood. If you find a bad guy <laughs> we use this. Like I know like in Bali, if a husband can't go to the wedding, the wife will marry the knife, no? It yeah. represents the family. Yeah. Is there anything similar like that? Yes, same in Sumba. Like, Sparti Warisan. Warisan, yeah. yeah. They, they pass it, you know, they, they, they yeah, the yeah. elder two yeah. generation. He got it from his parents, his great grandparents, so he oh. passed it through their yeah. son. Did you use that knife to make sure you have no more kids? <laughs> <laughs> Very clean water. It's from the well, uh, maybe from here like uh, four kilometer. Your village is very lucky to have clean water. We lucky. The foundation look after to us. Before they had to walk like miles away to get the water, and now uh, because of this uh, Sumba Foundation, they can now get water much easier. A clinic, um, water tank. I have school. Mosquito net, it's many things. Before, uh, the Sumba Foundation helped, like a clinic or mosquito net, a lot of children die. Right now, it's malaria is going down, not so many children die. It's very lucky. Like It's very laid back. Is there things that people do during the day to keep themselves busy? If the rain comes, the people is busy in the farmer and the garden to grow something. If no rain, just relax in the house because it's hot, you know. Yeah, you you can you guys can sit there, no problem. Let's go. We can sit in front. You can sit there on, too. on top. Yeah, on top. Why I prefer the 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 grave. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. This is my, my grandpa and grandma. <laughs> the whole family here. Yeah, the whole family here. Yeah. It's okay. okay, it's okay to sit on here. Yeah, no problem. No, it's okay. All his family born here and also die here. They, they, they live near the house. They eat with them, you know, watch, watch them all the time. And then, you know, they do this daily activity with, with all of them. It's like they are around all the time. They use it for functional yeah. use so that those ancestors are still a part yeah. of daily life. Yeah. Wow. Because the body is part of, uh, you know, 
part of the ground. We, we want from our mother, we bring it back to our mother. It's refreshing to see that there are still parts of the earth you can go visit that earth like this. We're living in the most interesting time. We have like full development, you know, and we have still this kind of way of life. You know, and from the two, at the moment, we can learn from both, you know. We're lucky because we have a choice. Yeah. You know, and they, maybe they don't have the choice. But I think we can learn so much more from them than they can learn from us. Like flapping his wings while he's on fire. That's basically the food maybe, you know, for a whole family and they've just killed two chicken for us, so that's like like a great honor. They have to read everything in their gut so they can tell it's a good, you know, good good thing tonight. Yeah, we follow this. Really? If yeah. we pray, we kill a pig or chicken. We see this one, what do you call this one? The gut, the gut inside. It's good, very perfect. Very, 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 very good. Yeah, it's very so good. full of fortune. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Hey, the family, Jaco. I came to the realization, being in that village, that my perspective on a lot of the world has changed in three years. I used to say a lot of things early on about how different and unique this is from home. And now I find that I go to these places and I start to feel comfortable. Instead of noticing differences, I notice similarities. And I'm glad to see that that's the mindset coming out of it. Oak is proud of us for what we were doing. We're on this epic journey, experiencing all we can, but now I'm kind of questioning, what is it we're looking for? Where's the finish line? What's the dream? We're living it, but what's the end goal? Well, it's fresh, but I just get stuck in my teeth. <laughs> I've still got 44 layers of sweat. I'm really not gonna sleep well if I don't kind of shower down, so. Bucket shower. You'll notice that this is another one of the tombs where they've got the, the bucket of uh, shower water and some soap, I've brought my own soap. It might be weird for, uh, for me, but it's totally acceptable for them. They kind of lighten up my uh, personal bubble here, so if you wouldn't mind. I'd like to have a bucket shower in privacy, please, and not on display for the whole community to see. Good sleep. Earplugs. Save the day. There was lots of bullshit and commotion last night. I couldn't hear anything, so I slept good. Did you sleep well on a bamboo last night? Oh, yes, you sleep good. I slept good, really good. I had the best sleep in weeks last night. Yeah. I can't explain it either. I don't know why exactly. I mean, the bugs didn't bother me. We had the, the nets up, but just sleeping on the bamboo. I haven't had good sleep for the past week, but. <laughs> but last night was last pretty good. Last night was pretty good. Excuse me. There we go. <laughs> Did you sleep well last night? Yeah, really, really well. Last night? Yeah, I went straight out and then slept the whole night. Yeah, nice on the bamboo, yeah? Yeah, yeah. no, it's really good. <laughs> good. I slept so good last night. Yeah. Justin, you need your sleep, no? Yeah. Because you're always waking up the latest. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I'm big on sleep. Time to roll out. Sun's getting high again, which means temperatures are getting up there and it's gonna be a long way back. 
Short and sweet as always, eh? I'm ready to go. This heat's gonna get hotter by the minute, so we should start pressing on. Toto, thank you okay. very, very you, much. Thank Tell you, thank you for see. coming. You're welcome. I hope you come back next time. Yeah. Great experience. I hope you come back next time. Yeah, yeah. Please tell the village thank you from from all of us for allowing us in because it's everyone was very nice to us. <laughs> Felt very welcome. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm coming. Yeah. Take care. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. There's so much beauty out there, but the longer you're away from your home, the more you appreciate it, and the more you realize that it's all the same. But you can't understand that unless you come out here and do it. We're pretty lucky that we got to Ubud when we did. I think it was probably in the back of uh, Oka's mind to push and get us here in time because it's his father's birthday tonight. But it's a pretty big deal, especially because Oka's father is really a well-respected man in the community. They don't really speak about it much and they kind of sweep it under the rug and they live quite simply. He's taught Oka a lot of spirituality and good advice. He said, to be able to travel up to the sky, you have to keep out the, or your excess baggage. If I want to reach the top, I have to travel light, he said. Because we live like in a mountain. When you want to reach the top, there's no much space for anybody else, only but you. Once you're down here, you make so many friends. But getting older, getting less, because it's only the one who really stick with you. Until you that someday you reach your top, you'll be alone. My father always say, do your own things, you know. When you're young, travel, do something, make mistakes because you can have lots of time to fix. But someday when you're older, try not to make mistakes. Try to speak the truth. Even though people don't get it, at least you speak the truth. But when you're young, you make mistakes, no problem. Just do what you have to do. Reach your goal, but dream big. Dream as big as you can. After spending the, the last week with them, we've really seen how much of a passionate guy Oka is. And I'm really glad that we've connected with them and be one of these people who opens the door and welcomes us into everything private about their life, their family and their religion and all of these things that mean so much to them. And that means a lot to me. Seeing Oka and the way he has created this home and this bit of paradise, it motivates you, you know, and it makes the transition into that stage of my life a lot easier when you see the way people have devoted their life into something that they're very passionate about. Three years ago, I wasn't ready to settle down, you know, there was something out there pushing me. But at the same time, I still look towards where I want to be and what I want to accomplish and who I want to spend it with. You must get a lot of good advice from your dad then. He advised me in different ways, you know, he gave me so much freedom. You know, he said, to be able to love Bali, you have to go out. See it from the distance. How do you know you love Bali if you don't go out from Bali? So that's where people are, have experience because they're traveling. This is how travel is so good, you know. But you gotta remember, someday you have to go home. I've seen a lot of the world and I've seen a lot of places and I am looking more into creating a home, a place that I could start a family. You know, I left what I created for myself and I've moved on and I've become a better person because of it. Now the search is on for that place where I'm going to plant my roots and start the next chapter of my life. Oka has a very beautiful way of looking at things. The view of life being a journey. Set goals and dreams and if you get those goals that's a bonus. But the real joy of life is living it. Maybe I never needed a goal for this trip. It was just to experience, to grow, to learn, to travel around and meet people face to face and live a life with them. I think it makes you more understanding and more respectful of the world that we live in.